Midday Kentucky Cooking Segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone over here at Creative Kitchen and Bath. As I said, for all your kitchen and bathroom renovation needs, Miss Chef Alison Davis, how are you from Wild Time? I'm wonderful. How are you, Troy? Good, thank you. I want to know, what are we doing with the pineapple? So, <laughs> around the holidays, New Year's, you know, you have parties, you have get-togethers, but sometimes you don't always think about the ones that may have a lot of allergies, sensitivities, food oh. issues. You know, you see all the dips with cheese, you see all the little pastries with gluten. You know, there's not a lot for those people that have celiac or are vegetarian or vegan. Yeah, I just think if you have any of those issues, you need to bring your own food. Well, that is very insensitive of you, Troy. <laughs> That's why I have no one so, ever. <laughs> you can send him. You can send him all the hate mail. I'm here for you, and we are going to make a nice vegan, uh, vegetarian, gluten-free, dairy-free appetizer, and it's nice well, and it's sounds sweet. Sounds so appetizing. Well, this is. Um, we're going to start with pineapple. We're going to do some little skewers of pineapple. You could actually grill this, which I would recommend yes. because it gives a little bit of char. There's some natural sugars in the pineapple that caramelize, but we're gonna do chopping. we're gonna do a little bit of a glaze with some molasses, a little lime, and a little mm, chili. I like um, so we're I, gonna start with the, the only thing that reminds me every time I see a pineapple, mm -hmm. most of our viewers at home would probably remember a movie with Elvis Presley when he Pins. yeah yeah when he was doing a movie and it was living on a plantation Hawaiian plantation in Hawaii with his family it was a very good movie anyway. Okay. Fun fact for today. <laughs> I love that movie. Every time I see a pineapple, I think of that movie. Well, weird, isn't we're it? so glad do you that you weird? do. I wonder what it was uh, called. Pineapple with Elvis Presley? I doubt that. <laughs> All right, so we cut the top and the bottom off. That gives us a nice flat side. And then we're just going to work our knife around. Have you seen those YouTube videos in from Thailand of the men chopping up oh, the fruit? Oh yes, and it's they like amazing. Are amazing. I mean they can do it like this. Yeah, but they have a special in, Yeah, but way. in literally like yeah. three seconds flat I'm they'll have the pineapple. That you're a bit slow. You know, I'm just taking my time and making sure I, that we get all these little eyes off. Do you think they charge you extra at the supermarkets absolutely. when they chop it all up for you. Absolutely. But I can't do so you it. can get, you know, at your grocery store normally a pineapple for somewhere around two dollars, two fifty. Your chopped pineapple in the little six jar, bucks. it's gonna be five, six dollars. <laughs> and really like Depends you're getting you to... you're probably getting half of a pineapple as well. Like when you you're probably right. when you think about how much you I get out of one. That. Yeah. All right, so what we're about gonna tin pineapple. Is it got mm. too much sugar in it, do you think? No, it just doesn't have the crunch. You know, it's very, like, it's in water, it's in the juices. Yeah. Like, it just doesn't have okay. the, the luster that a fresh pineapple does. I do like a bit of pineapple. All right, so I'm just that cutting this hint, into some way. cubes. <laughs> you're going to have it the way I serve it because you're so, um, you know, not I'm feeling not the vegan. I'm not allowed to eat fruit anymore, my doctor said. Oh, I'm no, sorry. No. Too much sugar? Yeah. All right, so we just diced this up, right? Yeah. So now we're going to make a little bit of our I glaze. I'm not going to. <laughs> we're going to do our glaze. My hands are a little oh. slick, if you would, please. They're a little bit Elvis Presley pineapple. <laughs> so if you have a fresh lime, mm. I certainly recommend the fresh lime because you would add a little bit of lime zest into this. And I always say that the, the zest, you get a little bit more of the citrus flavor. And it will make a nice little contrast on the outside of your pineapple I've got as another well. hint and tip. Oh, well. Now, if you want a nice shiny coat, like, it's true. We used to put this in our horse. Here, you brought a kids. snack with you. Oh, yeah. That doesn't go with my dish. <laughs> I wonder what it tastes like with the molasses, actually. All right, touch tiny bit of chili paste, you right? You didn't let me finish my story. Oh, sorry. So we used to feed the horses molasses in their oats and everything because it used to make their coat shiny. Oh. So well, maybe this will give us some us nice shiny, shiny hair. hair. <laughs> or nice shiny skin. All right, so I took our molasses, a little bit of the chili paste, some of the lime this juice here. This seems very interesting. I'm telling you. All right, and then we're going to take our pineapple. All right, while you're doing that. Mix that in, <coughs> and I we're going to skewer it. I want you to try, though. All right, if you want to find out about this recipe for shiny, healthy hair, <laughs> head over to wtvq.com forward slash Kentucky. It'll all be there. Instagram, Chef Allison Davis. 
There she is. Here I am. Ooh, and you're watching Midday Kentucky. <laughs> we will be right back after this short break. Oh, quick. I don't know. It's lovely. Oh, hold on. The after takes It's lovely.